Hi, my name is John. I am a Cloud Alliance Architect from Checkpoint. This is a short video on Harmony Connect and the Azure VWAN integration. Azure VWAN is a service that provides networking, security, and routing. It helps you easily connect all your branch offices, different Azure regions, and remote users to your corporate resources. For me, one of the biggest benefits VWAN provides is that you can replace all your MPLS links and more. Harmony Connect is a SaaS service from Checkpoint that provides advanced threat prevention capabilities to protect your users and branch offices from cyber attacks. One of the biggest challenges with networking or security as a service is latency. We solve this problem by deploying our CloudGuard gateways in the same region as the Azure VWAN hub. This will give you the lowest latency and the most comprehensive cybersecurity suite to protect your users. In my lab here, I already have my Washington server connected to the VWAN, accessing the internet through an Azure firewall. I want to show you why you need Harmony Connect and what are some of the security gaps it can help you fill. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we're now on our Washington server. It's currently connected to the VWAN and protected by the Azure firewall. First, I'm going to go to github.com to show you we do have internet access. And then I'm going to go to iCart.com, which I have a block rule on my Azure Firewall. Azure Firewall does a very good job with network access control and URL filtering capabilities. But with today's threat landscape, you need a lot more services to properly protect your users. So how do you identify those security gaps? Well, Checkpoint has this free service called cpcheckme.com. It can help you identify security gaps across your network, endpoint, cloud, and mobile devices. So in this test, I'm going to go test our network path to the internet. As you can see here, we have some gaps that need to be filled and Connect can help. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to integrate Connect and Azure VWAN. Okay, to onboard VWAN to the first thing you need to do is to create an app registration with owner permission from the Azure portal. Make sure you also capture your subscription ID, tenant ID, application ID, which you are creating right now, and make sure you capture the access key um, that you created here. Once you have your account detail, the next step is to convert into a secure hub. We're not going to be using the Azure Firewall. And we're going to select Checkpoint as a security provider, confirm, and create. Okay, so next we're going to log into uh, Checkpoint Infinity Portal. Um, the URL is portal.checkpoint.com, and we're going to select Connect. We've created an automated way to onboard VWAN to connect. All you need to do is to enter your subscription and app registration details here, and we'll take care of the rest. Now, what's cool about our integration is we deploy our CloudGuard gateway in the same region as your VWAN hub. This will minimize the latency to the internet. What you also end up with is a fully functional firewall with predefined best practices security policy that will start protecting your users as soon as the provisioning process is done. Now that the provisioning process is complete, I want to show you what is inside Connect. Under Site Detail, you see that there are three VWAN subnets that are automatically protected once we finish the provisioning process. Under Access Control, you'll find a set of predefined best practices security policy from Checkpoint. You can always modify this policy to your organization needs. This policy contains three main components. First is blocking access to malicious content. One of my favorite features is NTBot. This feature blocks all infected machines from being controlled by a command and control server. Our customers can even connect Checkpoint to the automation tool to quarantine any detected infected hosts after receiving an NTBot event. Other useful category is Anonymizer. This will stop users from using Anonymizers to bypass your corporate security. The second rule is to block access to explicit websites in according to your company's security policy. And our last rule is to stop file sharing, which is very useful to protect your users from sharing your company data to the internet. We can also do full SSL inspection. This is a very important feature because over 80% of all internet traffic are now encrypted. And the old saying goes, you can't protect something you can't see. SSL inspection has been around for close to 15 years and it is never easy to implement. This is why a lot of organizations have not implemented yet. But with 
Connect, we made it. We made SSL inspection super easy to implement, and we even include a best practices policy to get you started. All you need to do is to download a certificate to your user's browser, and you're good to go. Checkpoint has out of the box defaults for suspicious and malicious content rules. But what if you want to block additional applications, and how do you protect your company's data? As an example, I want to block my users from using WhatsApp on their desktop. Connect has over 8,000 predefined categories and applications you can choose from. We can use the search feature to find WhatsApp and block it from a network. Now, in terms of identifying and protecting your company's data, we're going to create a content rule. We're going to name the rule Data Loss Prevention. Checkpoint has a list of predefined data types such as HIPAA, PCI, PII, such as your social security number, and also company intellectual property, such as source code. Having this predefined list will make it a lot easier for you to define and control what goes out of your network. We can even detect if someone is trying to send out your entire database. The rule will take effect after the policy install. So next is we're going to go back to our Washington server to show you our policy in action. Okay, we're back on our Washington server, and now our traffic is protected by Connect instead of the Azure Firewall. First, I'm going to validate we still have internet access. Yep, that still works. Next is I'm going to go to a website that is supposed to be blocked, right? So in this example, it's going to be guns.com. Yep, that still works. And I'm also going to go to iCard. Um, the first two will be caught um, by our Edge browser. This is actually a great feature, right? So uh, the browser is able to recognize these threats. Um, but I'm going to click on a zip file, which is the browser won't be able to see inside. Yep, and we're able to block it. Lastly, I'm going to go to uh, cpcheckme.com again to check and make sure that um, we are all well protected. So just let it run. Okay, yep, we are fully protected. Now that we have validated our security policy, I'm going to log in to the Connect Management Console again to show you what the security logs looks like. When it comes to checkpoint management and logging capabilities, Gartner rated us as the gold standard, and I'll show you why. First and foremost, we have Cyber Attack View. This gives you a bird's eye view of who and what is under attack across your organization. This is also very useful for threat hunting, where you can actually dive into the specifics such as uh, helping a SOC analyst quickly identify the file name and MD5 hash. Under the Access Control tab, you'll see who the top talkers are and how much traffic um, the users are pushing through the firewall. Um, this dashboard also makes it very easy to identify any anomalies. Um, under the Security Report tab, it consists of different reports you can run. A good example is a monthly report to all line managers of the employee internet usage. Um, other, use, other use cases for this reports are um, reports for your C-levels, right, on the ROI of Connect. Okay, um, lastly is our logs tab. Um, this tab is very useful for uh, troubleshooting flows, for example. Um, if I have a source and destination IP, um, I want to make sure that the firewall is passing this traffic. I can just simply um, type in, uh, in a search bar here for that IP address. So I'm going to run a search for my um, for my Washington server here, over here. So um, that 148. And just give it a second to run the search. OK, so here are all the flows coming from my um, Washington server. And I can also, on the left-hand side, to uh, select a specific blade. So I want to look for um, a bot activity. And as you can see here, these are coming from uh, the Oregon server um, from the CP Check Me test. For those longtime Checkpoint users that are already familiar with our smart console, we also give you the ability to manage Connect via the smart console. You just kind of have to turn it on under settings here. One last thing I want to show you is how tightly both Microsoft and Checkpoint solutions are integrated to create a better together solutions for our customers. This is also something that differentiates Checkpoint and our competition. We understand that modern networks can be very fluid and needs to seamlessly keep up with business demands. Next, I want to show you that Connect can automatically protect any new hubs and branch offices that are onboarded to VWAN.
As you can see here, we are currently protecting three subnets. Next, we're going to onboard two new VWAN hubs and a branch office to show you how seamless the experience is. First, we're going to secure internet traffic for our New York branch. All you have to do is to select the connection to New York and then select secure internet traffic, and that's it. Next, we're going to secure two new VWAN hubs. Here we have our secure hubs for Australia and Korea. They currently have the Azure Firewall deploy protecting east-west traffic. We're going to enable connect for both sites to secure their internet traffic as well. Again, because latency is a key concern for lots of customers, Connect deploys checkpoint security gateway in the same region and data center as the virtual hub to minimize any latency. Okay, so you can see that um, I just finished the Korea site. And next is I'm going to go to uh, Australia, select AU East, security provider. We're going to add a, add a partner, select checkpoint, save, and that's it. Fast forwarding the provisioning process, what we're seeing here is our successful connections to our new Australia and Korea hubs. Our new branch office in New York is also connected as well. Now, without making any changes on the checkpoint side, we can see that Connect detected the changes and updated our protected assets list and even provisioned the additional gateways for our new Australia and Korea hubs automatically. This provides a huge savings from an operation perspective and it also gives you a peace of mind that any newly provisioned branches or hubs are automatically protected as well according to your security policy. In summary, Connect is a SaaS service that provides the most comprehensive security suite to protect your users from today and future threats. It is also backed by both Microsoft and Checkpoint 24-7 world-class support. As you can see from this video, Connect is tightly integrated with Azure VWAN with low latency, reliability, and offers customers with flexible management options to help you secure your VWAN deployments. Thank you.